Strong 4-1 effort here on the show yesterday. It was very close to a perfect 5-0 sweep here on the Power 5. Now, a 102-73-5 overall run. Let's keep it going. I've got three big underdogs in Major League Baseball for you today, plus my lone client selection that you're getting for free and a play in Friday College Football as well. As a reminder, you can go ahead and comment down below with your thoughts on these selections at any time. Number one, we are taking Garrett Crochet and the Chicago White Sox plus 140 on the money line against the Detroit Tigers, 640 Eastern. The Tigers have not yet announced the starter as of this morning, but that's okay. Yes, I know the Tigers still need one win to clinch a wild card in the American League. However, the White Sox try to fight off history and avoid finishing with the most losses in a single season in modern MLB history. The Sox, last series, they showed us they still cared, sweeping the Angels. Tonight, they have their best starting pitcher on the mound, Crochet, who tossed four shutout innings against San Diego his last time out with eight strikeouts. Yes, Crochet is only going to go four innings max, but I think this White Sox team, guys, is hungry to avoid making history. Tigers pretty much know they're in the playoffs already. They could still clinch with a Minnesota loss to Baltimore tonight. And get this, betting on teams with a sub-40% win percentage. Final week of the regular season, when facing a 500 or better opponent, that has you up 43 units since 2005. If you're a bit too squeamish to back the White Sox money line here, then go ahead and take the plus one and a half on the run line after all seven of the Tigers' last 10 wins have come by either one run or an extra innings. But me personally, I like the White Sox money line. That system I just spoke of also applies to our second play today on the Power 5, and that's the Colorado Rockies plus 158 on the money line against the LA Dodgers, 8-10 Eastern. Again, Dodgers have not announced the starter for Friday. As of this recording, I might be a little hungover after clinching the NL West last night. Yes, LA still competing with the Phillies for home field advantage in the National League playoffs. But I feel this is a great spot to fade them. The hangover spot, believe it or not, betting on the Rockies this season has been slightly more profitable than betting on the Dodgers. And Colorado historically has been great as a home underdog, particularly in these uh, series openers, pardon me. Again, if it makes you a bit squeamish, take the plus one and a half on the run line. But I'm betting the Rockies money line at the underdog price. Number three, one more big dog for you on Friday, and that is the Pittsburgh Pirates, plus 150 at the New York Yankees, 7.05 Eastern. Again, we are fading a team that just clinched its division last night, that being the Yanks. Yes, like the Dodgers, the Yankees are still in a battle with Cleveland for home field advantage in the American League. However, fading these teams that clinched a playoff spot or a division title has been highly profitable this season, the day after uh, they clinch. I believe only Baltimore has won the following day after a clinching scenario, and that was against these Yankees who were dealing with a pitching change for the Pirates. Starter Jared Jones, good enough to get the job done here. All right, here's my lone client play for today. Number four in the Power Five. Uh, but first, if you are an active client right now, I'd like to apologize for my baseball this week. It's been bad, uh, no doubt about it. Well, football, I'm number one this season at Wager Talk. NFL and college combined in NFL, number one, soccer, number one since April, soccer, number one in 2024. But baseball uh, this week has just simply been poor. Uh, there's no doubt about it for my clients. But I am confident there is a turnaround both tonight and in the postseason. And on Friday, we look to get home with the Milwaukee Brewers. Again, this is a 3% play. Brewers are home underdogs against the Mets. Can you say must win tax? I think the Brew Crew being dogs here is a gift. Yes, the Mets are the team that needs to win in order to make the postseason, but in all likelihood, their playoff aspirations will come down to Monday's doubleheader with the Braves. I think the two days off hurt the Mets coming into this series. And Milwaukee, while they technically have nothing to play for, they'd love to harm the Mets, potentially a first-round opponent. Remember, you know, the Mets having to play that doubleheader on Monday, having to win at least a game, that would really help the Brewers, who, again, could face the Mets in the wild card round. You can read a more detailed analysis from me on this game at my page, wt.buzz slash bp, where it will be posted for free. Again, though, it is a 3% client play that you're getting for free right here on the Power 5. Before we get to Friday Night College Football, a reminder about that great special offer we've currently got going for you right now at wagertalk.com. 
If you buy a three-month all-access pass, we will throw in an additional fourth month of service free of charge. That's an instant $299 savings. Pardon me, I'll do that one more time. A $299 savings, so you're getting 120 days worth of plays at less than $49 per week and $7 per day. A massive savings. I am, again, number one in football this season at Wager Talk, hitting an incredible 68% with my plays in NFL and college. I'm also number one in NFL, where I've gone 6-1 and one overall the last two weeks, and a perfect 6-0 and oh with sides this season. Don't forget, I also hit my first 5% CFB max bet of the season last Saturday with Texas Tech taking out Arizona State. My complete Saturday college football card and Sunday NFL card all posted right now at my page, wt.buzz slash bp. Four plays in college football, including two 4% best bets and two top 25 matchups. Then for Sunday, I've got three NFL sides as I look to make it a perfect 9-0 with NFL sides this season. Again, you can get the next four months for less than $49 per week right now by going to wt.buzz slash bp. All right, let's talk a little Friday college football. Rutgers and Washington. Rutgers hosting Washington. This is Washington's first away game as a member of the Big Ten Conference. Uh, Of course, it will be interesting seeing these new teams in the Big Ten traveling east, how they perform. Last week, we saw it for the first time. USC heads to Ann Arbor, Michigan, and they lose outright to a Wolverines team that was basically running a service academy-style offense. Now, the Huskies' Big Ten debut last week was at home. And it was pretty strong, led by their defense. They beat Northwestern uh, by the very odd score of 24-5. to uh, It was obviously, you know, like I said, led by the defense, allowed just 112 total yards, picked off two passes. But Northwestern was without its leading rusher in that game. Also, okay, I talked about this on the College Football Today show yesterday with Joe Ranieri, Drew Martin, and Rob Vino. There were two goal line stand situations that really turned that Washington Northwestern game. Northwestern, two goal to goes. They came away with only three points on those two drives. A field goal, obviously, and then they turned it over on downs. I know the Washington defense has been great, but this Rutgers offensive line, guys, is tremendous. Okay, not a lot of negative plays. They don't get behind the chains. They can run it. They protect the quarterback. Rutgers, 3-0. and They should have beaten Virginia Tech by a wider margin last week. Uh, They needed the last second field goal to, uh, last minute field goal, I should say, to seal the win. But they were up 23-7 after three quarters, and they missed two field goals earlier in the game. They turned it over twice inside the Hokies five, once with a fumble, once on downs. I like the Rutgers defense. Oh, by the way, Washington's got a massive look ahead to Michigan next week. Rematch of last year's national championship game. I disagree with the way this line's moving. I would play Rutgers here uh, at as a small home favorite. All right, let's go ahead and recap the Power Five for today now, shall we? Number one in our parade of underdogs, Chicago White Sox, plus 140 on the money line against the Tigers. Number two, Colorado Rockies, plus 158 on the money line against the Dodgers. Number three, Pittsburgh Pirates, plus 150 on the money line against the New York Yankees. Number four, Milwaukee Brewers, plus 110 at home against the New York Mets. That is a 3% client play. Number five in college football, Rutgers. Minus one, minus one and a half against Washington. Again, feel free to leave any comments or questions down below. Do you think I'm insane for taking some of those big underdogs tonight in Major League Baseball? If so, let me know and drop your favorite bets for Friday. But if you could do me a favor, smash that like button. I would very much appreciate it as we continue to dole out the free winners here on Wager Talk TV. And of course, make sure you are subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel as I not only have you covered with the Power 5 daily, but every Monday through Friday, me and Mark Zinno do the morning wager. All right, that does it for Friday's edition of the Power 5. I'll be back later tonight with the all-college football edition of the show for Saturday. Until next time, guys, let's cash some tickets.